Welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will discuss sound energy and continue our energy series. Check out my other videos in this series and as well as my math videos as well. Sound energy refers to what we can hear with our ears. It is a type of kinetic energy that is made from the vibration of matter. Sound moves from the source of its vibration through other matter like air or water. Sound makes different vibrations depending on how loud, soft, high or low, or distorted it may be. When any object vibrates, it causes movement in the air particles. The particles bump into other particles close to them, which cause them to vibrate. Let's take a look at what vibrations could look like at a low frequency note versus a high frequency note. When the vibrations are fast, you hear a high note. When the vibrations are slow, it creates a low note. A cool fact is that sound travels through air at 1,120 feet or 340 meters per second. Another cool fact is that sound can travel underwater it moves four times faster than water than through the air. It can travel such a long distance that whales can hear each other when they are nearly a hundred miles apart. So would sound vibrations create a low frequency note or a high frequency note? In water, the particles would move closer together and they can quickly transmit energy from one particle to the next so this would be a high frequency note. The volume of sound is the measure of loudness. To quantify volume, we use decibels. The more decibels, the louder the sound is. A soft sound, like a whisper, will measure around 15 to 20 decibels. A loud sound, like a jet engine, is more like 130 to 150 decibels. The threshold of pain occurs at around 130 decibels. Loud sounds can actually damage your ears and cause a loss of hearing. Ouch! Even sounds as loud as 85 decibels can ruin your ears if you listen to them over a long period of time. For this reason, it's a good idea not to listen to loud music or have your headphones turned up too loud. So keep in mind that sound energy refers to the movement of energy through a substance. And that substance is a matter which can be a solid, liquid, or gas, or more importantly, air or water. It forms waves. It is produced when a force causes an object or a substance to vibrate. I hope this video helped you understand sound energy. For more cool, quick videos on other types of energy, check out my science playlist. Comment below on other videos you would like to see. Please like and subscribe and share for more videos. Thank you.